When my mother found out that I made more than my soon-to-be husband, she said in her usual blunt way, Farnoosh, I just hope you don't ever have to struggle. There's a lot that I have to give up in order to work and make the money that I need to make to support my family. I, I have levels of anger, resentment. Sometimes if I'm looking at you know him, like what are you bringing to the table? As a breadwinner, emotionally it feels very stressful. Um, there's a lot riding on me to bring home that check every Friday. As young girls, our parents and teachers encouraged us to shoot for the stars, and we absolutely did. We became this generation of highly educated, take charge women. But our success has inadvertently created a major obstacle, making more than him. Because I make more, I feel pressure to keep my job, to not lose my job. I get worried I'm gonna run out of options. I do wish sometimes I wasn't the breadwinner. I think it's, uh, it hits me a lot of times when I'm even rushing off to work in the morning, um, when I'm rushing to work and away from my children. I would meet women at dinners and work events and explain that I was writing this book offering solutions for breadwinning women. And it's funny, I would either get awkward stares as if to say, you really gonna go there? Or the floodgates would open. Most concerning from my research is that when she makes more, relationships suffer from more infidelity and more divorce. It just creates a different relationship with your husband. It's gonna affect your intimacy. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He feels sometimes um, a little crappy that I make more than him. This book is not just for executive women banking six figures. It's also dedicated to women who've suddenly inherited this role because their husbands have lost their jobs. It's for single moms. It's for career-driven young women looking for love. And yes, it goes there. But more importantly, it offers new rules for a new generation of women. My hope is that we can look back on this major shift in our history and say, as breadwinners, we really thrived. We figured out how to make it all work. We owe it not just to ourselves, but also to the young girls and boys who can look back one day and say proudly, my mom made more and she was really happy. She had the best life. <laughs>